Hey everyone. Okay, so I've been away. Um, I've been in Toronto for what was the entire month of July, basically, because um, our son is going to go to school there and um, we had to do all sorts of things to get him <laughs> somewhat set up. And, um, and yeah, so I was there for a while. And of course, um, being there, I had to pick up a few things. Um, I didn't have time to find um, like metaphysical shops or tarot shops. I wish I had more time, but I didn't. Um, I went to Indigo and I picked up a few things. It was just a couple of decks and actually a little book. I wanted to start with the book first. I wanted to do like a recent book haul or some shit, but um, I haven't had a chance to do that because I did pick up books when I was in London before my trip to Toronto anyways but I found this this is just the sweetest thing ever it's a fortunate tarot poetry by Kim Rashidi I had no idea this even existed but um I found it on the shelf and it turns out I have a signed copy which I was rather surprised about but look look there you go um obviously it's a little poem for let's do a little bibliomancy they're all out of order a little poem for each um, card. So I love that. I think that is just the sweetest thing. Let's do one more, let's do one more. Okay, gosh, I feel like these poems are reading me for filth. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. So yeah, this was one of the things I picked up um, and I I love it. It's, it's fantastic, it's wonderful. So there's that. Um, I got something that I had been eyeing for a long, long time. The Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. Of course, this is the um, mass market version. But uh, yeah, I just, this was something that I had been sort of looking at for a while. Um, I know Meg's been using it from Rose Honey Ritual. Uh, and I don't know, I just, I found it really gorgeous, so I had to pick this up and start. Obviously, I haven't used it because it's still in order. I'll probably do a little walkthrough just, just because. Um, and yeah, I, I look forward to getting started with that. I think I actually might start using it this month, so why not? Another one, which I actually haven't seen before, um, is the Guardian of the Night Tarot. Now, this is, um, hold on, I'm having a, there's a bit of an avalanche happening. <laughs> um, can you guys see that? Yeah. So this is the creator of the Crow Tarot. Crow Tarot. Which one is the Crow Tarot? I think I know which one that is. Anyways, um, but I just, I found this to be um, quite beautiful. I picked it up on a whim without even um, looking into it. And I don't have, I currently don't have animal decks or like animal based decks, but this is all sort of night animal decks. And I mean, the, the imagery is so unbelievably just dreamy and soft and beautiful. And I don't know, I just, um, Look at that. What's with the Eight of Cups? Stop it. <laughs> but um, I just, I thought it was so beautiful and I wanted to give it a try. And, you know, it's the whole night theme uh, is something that resonates with me. And I, you know, animals are amazing uh, messengers and beings. So I thought, okay, look at that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. This is beautiful. Um, there's the back. So I'll probably do a walkthrough of that as well. But yeah, those are just a few things that I picked up. Um, you know, not a whole ton because I'm not, you know, wanting to have a whole ton of things. But um, I just, you know, one deck that I was already eyeing. And then, of course, you know, this one I saw and I thought, yeah, this is fantastic. Um, and this fun book, which, yeah. I'm happy about so that's it um just a really quick video and just a few things that i wanted to share and that's all uh thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye